Earlier this week, we told you about a few sea turtles that were rescued and are being rehabilitated at the Gulf Specimen Marine Lab in Panacea. Photojournalist Taylor Robinson paid the lab a visit today to find out more about the efforts that are being taken to return the turtles back to the ocean happy and healthy. Of the three species I've worked with, they are the most sassy. They're more known to bite. This is Puddle. He or she is a juvenile Kemp's Ridley sea turtle that was caught on a fishing hook by a recreational fisherman on the St. George Island fishing pier. She still has her hook in her system. It sits about here in her trachea and it's a little too deep for us to safely remove it, so we're just waiting for it to pass naturally before we think about surgery. She is about five pounds and she's extremely sassy. She loves her some blue crab. We've had as many as uh, 30 turtles uh, during a, a summertime. Turtles make the decision there whether they're gonna come here or not. Any sea turtle patient, we just do an initial assessment. We look for any open wounds, any old wounds. Usually they come in extremely emaciated, which we treat with IV fluids and antibiotics, and then just make sure they're eating and gaining weight so that we know that they're improving and not declining in health. This is a, a green turtle that was found floating offshore off Appalachia Bay. It's kind of an interesting story. There was a family out there fishing, uh, running the boat, and this is miles offshore, and they saw this turtle bobbing around in the sargassum weed. Uh, it's full of gas, so it can't sink. If we put it in the water, uh, it will stay on the float because it has air in its gut and that kind of thing. And these barnacles on them are very interesting because these are the only place in the world you're gonna find this kind of barnacle. This will not be growing on a wharf piling or a boat bottom. It only grows on turtles. If a turtle is more distressed, their immune system can't keep the barnacles off. So a real healthy turtle will either have no barnacles or one or two. But this one you can see is festered over with barnacles on all sides. And we've been doing turtles here at Gulf Specimen for 60 years. And uh, we're still doing it. Over the years, it's, their populations have just declined dramatically. Turtles in general are threatened and endangered for many reasons. Plastic pollution, boat strike, um, runoff pollution, things like that. Slow down is the big thing for boaters, just especially in bays, harbors. Um, that's where a lot of juvenile turtles live. They eat, they're protected in these bays. So just if boaters are going slow, they're more likely to see the turtles at the surface. I, I'm the one that administers IV fluids checks their weight, make sure they're eating. So it's, it's beautiful work that we do here. It certainly is. And if you would like to see the turtles in person, you can visit the Gulf Specimen Marine Lab any day of the week. Their facilities are at 222 Clark Drive. That's in Panacea.